Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, then, everybody. So, part one of me and our James doing his personal training session for the week. Today, we're doing biceps and triceps. Now, obviously, bear in mind, James has been coming to the gym with me for about one month. So he's only been going to the gym for one month. This is probably his second bicep workout with me. Well, biceps and triceps. So he's only learning. So sometimes his technique will not be perfect. You can't hear me, but behind the camera, I'm always talking to him, trying to get him to get his technique perfect. But I never left him, let him lift heavy enough to hurt himself if he doesn't get it perfect, right? Um, so this is just five key per side, just warming up. Just warming the arms up. Yeah, um, now, the idea of this workout, what I'm saying here is you don't need to take it all the way up there. You can take it just to there, that's enough just to get the bicep actually pumping, right? Um, the idea of this workout is, at the moment, I'm stripping. I'm stripping weight, yeah? You can probably see it while I'm ripping. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going surfing in, like, nine days, well, bodyboarding. Um, and I want to be as sleek and as fast and as fit as I can be. So that's why my training's gone from bulking to ripping. I just want to, well, I am losing weight, to be honest with you. Um, it's working out fine for me. Now, if you're looking to me at, he is leaning back slightly, but trust me, not enough to hurt his back, or I wouldn't let him do it. But I do stop him in a minute, and he does not, I mean, he doesn't get no heavier than this because it's just too much for him. Um, but I'll let him go, I'll let him go. But now I'm like, yo, yo, put it down. Because then he leaned too far back and I don't want that. That's why I'm like, to the camera. But still, good job, James. Good job. Well done, lad. Well done. I'm saying there, look, you was leaning back too much. Yeah? You was leaning back too much, little man. You don't want to hurt the bottom of your back. But well done. Ah, James. Well done, young Padawan. At the end of part two, I've got some photos of me and James after the workout in the mirror. So you'll get to see where he is physique-wise. So obviously, wait till the end of part two. This is part one, and then you'll get to see. So at the moment, we've just got 10 key aside on there, um, and we're just keeping it nice and strict, all on the bicep, getting a good pump, lots of blood in there, like a beast. <laughs> Digby just shit himself. Digby the dog's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Whenever you see me put my fist out on the camera like that, I'm saying, come on, James, come on, come on. You can't hear it because it's a voiceover. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm like, come on, lad. Come on. Now, if you watch in a minute, I'm going to make him put it down. I'm like, no, 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 no. Rather than lean back, I'm like, come with me. So now I'm going to take him over and get a lighter bar. So I'm still going to make him work. I still want him to do the exercise, but I don't want him to hurt himself doing it. So rather than have him bending up his back and shit, I'm going to get him pick up a lighter bar. We're going to go back over and he's going to do some more curls. Now, because he's just started training, you will notice how he twists a little bit when he's curling with a bar. Yeah, I'm saying, look, he was leaning too far back. That's why I made him get a bar. But you've got to understand that he's a beginner. So his left arm is actually weaker than his right arm, which we are actively working on every week. We're trying to get it as strong as the right arm. Yeah, but because he's a beginner... Do you know what I mean? He's going to have weaknesses in his body. Do you know what I mean? Um, bits that aren't equal. And his left arm is not equal to his right arm. But he is working on it, bless him, every week. I'm saying, look, left arm. Work your left arm more. Focus on your left arm. Focus on your left arm. Your right arm's pissing it. Focus on your left arm. Come on, James. Beast mode, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have some fun in the gym, man. I have that keep fucking popping. So 15 key aside now. Uh, not too heavy. You've got to understand with this broken thumb, a lot of this hurts today. A lot of it hurt me today. But I just grip my teeth in, like, get through it. But, like, gripping the bar sometimes hurts, especially when I'm rolling my thumb around to try and get a good grip because I'm getting heavier. So, yeah, so a lot of this did hurt today. Um, you'll notice my left arm is kind of taking over. Do you know what I mean? If you look, I'm left arm, left arm dominant. We're lifting today. Look, see how my right arm's lower than the left. Look, that's just because of the hand. That's not because of, that's how I normally lift. I mean, you've all seen me curl that many times. The reason why my right arm, basically, my right, I'm trying to get my right arm to do as much, but my grip, my hand is just not the same. 
I've had to put it in a different position to be able to do the exercise. So, oh, come on, James. I'm saying this because I want to see his left arm working. The reason I've made him move to the side is I'm like, James, I want to see that left arm working. So I'm telling him here, yeah, you can throw it up as much as you want, really, but the negative needs to be slower. So I'm like, slow down on the negative, James. Slow down. And I know his technique's not perfect, but like I said, it's the second time he's done biceps. And I'll keep correcting him until it's perfect. So in about three months when he's done loads of bicep routines, yeah, his bicep posture is going to be perfect. But he's doing very well. James puts a lot of effort in and that's really all I can ask. You know what I mean? I can't ask for no more. He's a pleasure to be around and he puts a lot of fucking effort in. See, that's too much leaning back. So I'm like, put the bar down. I'm like, that's enough. You don't really want to lean back at all, but sometimes, you know what I mean, you will probably find yourself doing it, especially when you're a novice and you're not advanced. The more advanced you get, yeah, the like, more you'll be able to keep your body straight with your core. Because to be honest, keeping your body straight, when you do it with a lot of weight, it's core. So now we've got 20 key aside, just over 50 key, yeah. Now, when I'm strong, when I'm proper strong and heavier than what I am now, I can curl 70 key. So this should go up a piece of piss, but I'm going to tell you now, what a piece of piss. <laughs> it's that bastard thumb, man. Come on, Danny. Get done, son. Get fucking done, son. I'm definitely going to be left arm dominant on this fucker. Yeah, look at that. Definitely left arm dominant. But I can't help it, mate. I've got a fucked up hand. I don't even know I'm lifting this on my hand. The pain, mate. See, I'm, I'm using my core to keep my body straight there. That's something you learn as you get better at training, though. Something you learn as you've been doing it a while. Now, I could have... See, I could have leaned back then and got another rep out. But I wasn't willing to lean back. Um, but yes, obviously, like I said, James has only just started, so I'm teaching him a bit at a time. If I sat there and taught him the perfect curling technique and kept going over and over and over and over with him, we'd never get any fucking training done. Do you know if I sat there and, and made him do it over and over until it was perfect, until there was nothing, if it, it was absolutely perfect, then we'd never get any work done. We'd end up doing about three fucking sets, and I want him to work. So I'll let him do it where he's breaking form slightly until I think the form breaking can get a little bit dangerous and then I'll stop him. But like I said, over a period of time, his form will get better and better and better to the point where it looks like me, like he's not bending his body or anything. Do you know what I mean? It's not his fault. He's a young lad and he's training fucking hard. So give him a break. At the end of the day, when you see how much he did at the gym, you're going to understand how much, this, how much of a draw cell battery this kid has inside him and how much he wants to do it, how much he wants it. Because that's what it is with James. He fucking wants it, mate. He wants it. I mean, when you see the pictures at the end, bear in mind, this kid, when he started training with me, had no muscle. Do you know what I mean? He had no muscle. Yeah, right? And in four months... I think it's four months, isn't it, James? In four months, you'll see his physique now. And yeah, yeah, I am his personal trainer. So some of it is to do with me. Yes, it is. But it's his effort that has got it. It might be my knowledge, but I haven't fucking put the muscle on for him. It's his effort that has done it. It's his want. His want to be stronger. His want to be bigger. That's what's got it. Do you know what I mean? And I'm proud of him for that. I'm proper proud of him for that. Now, come on, James, lad. Come on. <laughs> now, I am always, when I'm stopping and I'm looking at him, I'm always giving him encouragement. It's just like I said, you can't hear me on camera. Some of the shit I say to him is funny, man. Do you know what I mean? Seriously. And if I want to make James go nuts, I can make him go nuts easily. Easily. Seriously. I know him that well now. So we're going to go up in weights. Seated curls. Now, I'll give you a bit of knowledge on these. So the idea of these is you put the bench up so you can keep your back flat. That means you're not going to lean back. So you're using pure bicep. You, the twist wants to start, yeah, basically, as soon as you start coming up, really. Because you want to have it virtually flat when you get, like, by your ribcage. Do you know what I mean? When you get to the top, you're going to tense your bicep. You're going to bring it down controlled and then repeat. Get as heavy as you can. I think I go up to 17 and halves or 20 key dumbbells here. Um, without the fucked up hand I mean, you don't understand is my right arm isn't performing like my left right now 
So I'm not gonna go too heavy to where my right arm can't actually do it, you know, because of my hand. So I'm only going up to weights that I know that my right hand can handle at the moment. Um, but if you're all wondering what I can curl like this, when I'm fresh and I'm strong and like, you know, there's no fucking injuries and in that, yeah? I'm probably at about 25 key, 27 and a half key dumbbells. <laughs> Say hello, James. Say hello to Kevin, mate. Yeah, mate. Thanks. Say hello to the Kevin, dear son. And he's always got like, you know, sometimes you hear me say, I've got a lot, I've got lots more, I've got lots more, I've got lots fucking more, lots more. Yeah. James is proper adopting that personality. Like, sometimes you'll see him, he'll start to get tired and you'll see his head drop. And then without me saying a word now, it's got to the point, I used to have to say to him, come on, James. But now without me saying a word, I'll see his head pop up, his eyes will open, and he'll go into fucking Terminator mode. <laughs> Come on, Danny boy. Now, the second part of this workout, part two, is going to start with some bag work. I wanted to teach him jabbing techniques today to get his jab good because James is in a kickboxing club and he's actually a coach and he's going to be fighting soon. So I know kickboxing is kicks, but it's also hands. So the only thing I can teach him really is hands. I'm sure his kickboxing instructors can, his instructors can teach him much better kicks than I can. But hands, I just wanted to teach him a really good jab because we all know a good job can stop many, many people. Bobsing away, chilling out with our James in the gym. See, James proper looks forward to seeing me every week. I know he does, right? He tells me, do you know what I mean, right? But do you know something? I look forward to seeing James. Like I said, he's a pleasure. Pleasure to work out with. I have a laugh with him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We have a laugh together. It's a pleasure to work out. His mum comes to my house, chills with my wife. Um, got a watching Vikings today, didn't I, Deb? Got a start, started a watching Vikings today. You're loving it, ain't you, Deb? So, yeah, yeah. Um, she's watched loads at my house now, ain't you, Deb? Met, met James and Deb some Viking meatballs last week. They enjoyed that. Some Danny Carbonara when I get back off holiday. Can't wait. Deb's like James, um, pleasure, pleasure to be around his mummies. So, right, so now I'm gonna get heavy. So James is staying on the same weight, but the reason James is staying on the same weight is because if he gets heavier, he's not gonna be able to do it, you know, effectively. So here's the advice, like I'm saying to James, no, you're staying on the same weight, and he's looking at me and I'm like, you're staying on the same weight so you can do proper reps all the way through kind of thing. Um, you're only up the weight if you can keep the rep pure and strict. You're not going to up the weight if you can't, you know, do it technically properly. Okay? Right? If you start fucking swinging it and shit like that, yeah, and you can't control it with just your arm, you're too heavy. Drop the weight. Leave your ego at the door, man. Do you know what I mean? Weightlifting's not about ego. Yes, it's about lifting as heavy as you can, but with perfect form. Do you know what I mean? The more perfect the form the more you get out of the exercise. It is that fucking simple. And yes, I know what everybody's going to say. Danny, do you know what I mean? You're losing size, blah, 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 blah. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm actually ripping up on purpose because I'm going to surf and bodyboard. I need my speed and my agility and my fitness for that. I'm like, come on, James. Lift it, son. Go on. <laughs> Man, this is going to be over an hour of footage in the two videos. Do you know that? Seriously, we was at that gym for over two hours today, me and James. We were training for over two hours, man. That's what I say, you see. To, like, I say this now, like, and I mean it. Like, when you train with me, um, I mean, James has managed to get himself to the gym. But he didn't start with the gym. Yeah, he started over Warren's All. 
And when, when he was fit enough and strong enough to be able to train with me, then I let him come to the gym. But it took him a few months, didn't it? Ah, James, to get fit enough and strong enough. You can't just come and do this shit straight away. He'll fucking kill you. James can handle this shit now, trust me. I wouldn't put him through it unless I knew he could handle it. So these are hammer curls, right? So I've got 10 key dumbbells. James has got five key dumbbells. And we're just repping them out. Do you know what I mean? We just want to pump blood in there. Now, I've said this before in many of my videos. Like, I'm just trying to pump blood into that arm right now. Um, I mean, we're nowhere near the end of the workout. Trust me, we've got so, so much more to go. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to pump blood into there now. Arms are something that like, you know, arms and upper leg and back is something that, trust me, I have no problem putting size on. I have very good muscle, uh, mind-muscle connection with those muscles. Come on, James. Push it. Berserker power. Viking rage. Valhalla born. Odin's waiting for you, James. So am I with a horn of mead. Yeah, boy. Now, I'm telling him, obviously, to try and not lift his elbows so much, yeah? But like I said, it's his, you know, it's his first time doing a lot of these exercises, so he's doing very well for his first time. I don't give a shit what anybody says in comments. James has trained his fucking ass off today. Done me proud, blessing. See, I'm telling him there, try not to, like, bring your elbows up. Try to keep them neutral. Um... But he's doing lots of reps. He's burning his shit out, man. He's burning his shit out. He really, really is. I'll tell you what, you'll see on the bag in a minute. Because if you watch some of James's previous videos when he's punching, um, his punching's got better, man. Do you know what I mean? He's still got lots of things to work on where his punching's concerned, but his punching's got much better, man. He seems to have more impact through the blow. That's what it seemed like to me today when he was hitting the bag. It seemed like he had more impact through the blow. Seems like I think it's because obviously his body's getting more solid in it and stuff. So, well done, James, man. You had some. You did have more impact through the blow today. I noticed when you was hitting the bag. I forgot to tell you when we finished. So now we're gonna do triceps, right? Now the idea with triceps, you do not come up there, yeah, just to there, right? And then when you come down, you're gonna pull it into your groin, right? And you're gonna hyperextend your arm. So you're gonna proper straighten your arm out, yeah. So down, pull into the groin and straighten. Pull into the groin and straighten. Pull into the groin and straighten. Pure tricep workout. Because we're not just doing biceps today. Well, we do triceps, biceps, forearm, all of it really. You want to be a fucking god? Welcome to Valhalla. Mr. <laughs> James has never done this before. So he's never done this. You can tell because I'm having to talk him through it. Now, bear in mind, he's never done this exercise, everyone. Yeah? Ever. This is his first time ever doing it. And he listens. You know something? James picks the shit up really quick. Because he, really, he does listen. He doesn't half pay attention to me. He fucking pays attention to me. He's a good lad, is our James, you know, everyone. Seriously, he's a very good lad. He's going to grow up to be a good man. I just know it. And if he carries on, he's going to grow up to be a fucking strong man. Now, through the camera, I'm telling him at some point, shoulders back, chest out, shoulders back, chest out. Do you know what I mean? Right? Look, you can see his muscle moving, look. Go on, James, lad. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say he wants to be a tank. I say, I say he wants to be a bloody tank. And I, and I say, I say, I say, I say I reckon he's going to be a bloody tank. <laughs> uh, he's going to be rolling around like a fucking caveman, fucking... Donkey Kong, fucking I am fucking Bruce Lee, Jet Lee, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator, Predator Killer. That's me, James, the Viking Beast. 
Just need to get you a beard now, lad. <laughs> Next set. Not bad to be fair, do you know what I mean, right? Um, considering that you know, I is a forty year old geezer and that, but I can fucking go some for a forty year old geezer, mate. For a guy with grey hair and his beard that can literally remember the eighties. <laughs> I'm not doing bloody bad, mate. I tell you now, I'm doing bloody bad, mate. Always room for improvement though, folks. Now, come on, James. So I'm like, look, keep your shoulders back, chest out. It's all a learning curve. And James is like a proper, like, student. Do you know what I mean? He takes notes. He always does this. James, why do you do this? It's mad, you know, because he, I mean, it's not because we're on camera. He's not scared of the camera, trust me. He's not shy. Yeah. But he like you always look, and it's always to the right. I don't know why you do that, James. He always looks to the right, man. You'll see him do it later on in the workout. Trust me, he always looks to the right. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he does it. James is comical sometimes at the gym, man. He does some funny shit, man. He pulls some funny faces when he's lifting weights sometimes, though, James. James even knows the funny faces he pulls. He showed his mum earlier. Come back from the training, and Deb was like, what, what funny face are you on about? And James showed her, and she burst out laughing. <laughs> Coming to play golf for me in a few weeks, is our James? Our film is playing golf, isn't it? He wants to learn how to play golf, so I'm going to learn him how to do that as well. So I'm just telling him to hyper extend his arms on the way down. I'm saying, look, straighten them arms, man. Pull it into your legs. Pull it into your groin. Straighten your arms, man. The more you pull that into like your legs, your groin, like if you're a bloke, your ball sack, yeah? Right? I mean, don't slam it into your ball sack, obviously. But pull it and then pull it hard into your body, like, you know what I mean? And like straighten your arms out so your elbows are locked out, the more blood you will get into the tricep. And that is the whole point of this, everybody, man. To pump blood. We're trying to pump blood to split the muscle, right? That is the aim of the game. We are trying to actively split your muscle like it's been cut with a fucking knife. The more you split it, the more it will grow. It is that bloody simple. And that's with every muscle you're doing. That's why I go so slow on the way down. And when I come up, I tense. You see it when I'm doing tri triceps. The way up is the negative. The way down is the positive. So watch when I do the positive part of the motion. When I go down and pull it into my legs. Watch how much I tense my tricep when I do it. You'll see it when I do it. Now obviously it all does come with practice. It all, I've been doing this shit for 20 odd years. Do you know what I mean? Give James another six months and James is going to be a tank. Trust me on that. I'm not joking with you. James is going to be strong as fuck. I just know it. He's having a little dance. <laughs> Go on, James. Yeah, if you look how much I pull this out, down and tense. Down, tense. You can see what I'm doing, look. Down, tense. I do that on everything that I do, you know. Every single exercise that I do, the positive part of the motion, I tense the muscle that I'm working. I don't, I don't just do the motion. I'm actively tensing the muscle trying to pump as much blood in there as I can to split the shit out of it. Because I just want to fuck my shit up, man. Because the more I fuck it up, the more I'm going to grow. And it's all about growing, man.
I'm like, yeah, this is going to fuck him up now. Because basically, I put it a little bit heavier for him now, yeah? And then we're going to go straight from here over onto the balls. And literally, and then straight from the balls to dumbbells. You're going to see now, right? And I'm telling you now, this little, this little three-part finisher, it's not a finisher to your triceps because we're going to do more triceps, right? But this is just this actual exercise. So this we do it. This is not a drop set. This is three exercises in a row, one after the other, to fuck your arms up, to fuck your triceps up before you carry on. <laughs> then usually I go onto the bag, I do bag work, and then I do biceps and triceps again, and then more fucking bag work. I am trying to keep it, tend to keep his shoulders back, but listen, everybody, he's working his triceps. That's all that matters. Do you know what I mean? Go on, James Lad. Go on. My little Padawan. I can't wait till he gets to the point where he's stronger than me. That's going to be a day for me. That's going to be amazing for me to see, that is. When James gets to the point where he outlifts me. Do you know what I mean? He's just like, you know what I mean? Come on, Danny. He's, he's, he's come on, Danny. You can lift it. Come on, Danny. You can lift it. Do you know what I mean? Right? And seriously, because I'm fucked up and I can't do it. Now this, the idea is put your hands on the side of the ball and press your hands against the side of the ball whilst you're doing these overhead tricep extensions, yeah? It makes it much harder than if you put your hands underneath and kind of cup it. You don't want to cup it. You want to put your hands on the side, press your hands against the ball to keep hold of the ball, right? And then obviously do your tricep extensions. It brings forearms into it as well as doing your triceps. And then after this, it's dumbbells. Uh, James is going to get six key dumbbells. I'm going to get eight key dumbbells. And we're just going to go at it. This is straight after the last thing. And then the dumbbells that we get are straight after that. And then we're onto the bag. But then, I mean, I don't do too much on the bag because my hand's fucked in it. So I'm just basically today, I've been trying to teach James the value of a jab and how to stay behind his right hand. Um, but you'll see that on camera in part two. He's doing well. He's doing fucking well. Trust me, the pain in that this boy is in right now and he's just gritting his teeth and he's just going through it like a fucking beast. That's why I like training. He's a fucking pleasure to train. Come on, James, you little tank. Come on, James, you little beast. Come on, James, you little Viking. <laughs> I'm like, right, come with me. He thought we was going to do 10 more. I was like, no, 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 we're not going to do 10 more, bro. Come with me. Come on with me over there. Grab these fucking dumbbells. We take a while here because the dumbbells are all jum jumbled up. So we, we couldn't find the correct, like, the correct ones that we wanted. I found mine pretty quick, but then James ended up coming over with a nine and a six. And then he has to go back over there and grab his other six. Um, but yeah, obviously, this is just, we couldn't help this. It's because the dumbbells were jumbled up, though. It wasn't our fault. The dumbbells are all jumbled up, you know, from when somebody used them. Rather than put them on the rack, you know, like a six on the right and a six on the left, you know, at the top, and then like a seven, and then an eight, and then a nine, it was like that. It was like a seven at the bottom, a six at the top, a five in the middle, a nine at the bottom. It was fucking all over the place. Good gym etiquette, everybody, is to put your shit back from where you get it from. Do you know what I mean? After you've finished with it, just put it back. It's good gym etiquette, man. Don't leave your shit all over the fucking gym, man. It's terrible, that is, you know. It does everybody's head in. People who train the gym all the time, it does his heads in, man. Because you're just leaving shit all over the place. And we end up having to clean up after you. The people who proper like the gym. See, there, look, he's got the wrong weight. So I'm like, who can get you? He's got a nine and a six. Do you know what I mean? He'll have one whopping great big fucking left tricep and a smaller right one. <laughs> Look like fucking Popeye in that, James. <laughs> so we're nearly the end of part one now. Um, I think this is the last bit of part one, and then we'll move on to part two. Part two might be a slightly longer video, I'm not sure. 40 minutes or something, I think. So tricep extension, down. Yeah, back up. The reason I'm smiling is because James is like, shit. <laughs> Now, he's never done a lot of this before. He's never done this before. Yeah, he's never done, like, all of it, really. He hasn't done, he's done a, he's done a bicep, in, but, every, right, let me explain. So, James will probably put this in comments. James put this in comments so they understand. So, every week that James trains with me, it gets harder. I make it harder every fucking week. 
right? So James will tell you this, it gets harder. Every week his training sessions are always harder than one the week before. So James is doing new shit and pushing new boundaries every fucking week. He is not plateauing. He is only getting stronger, faster and fitter every fucking week. And that is the deal that me and James have made between us that I will always increase his level of fitness and strength. I will never let him plateau. It will never be easy. He's actually asked me that out of his own mouth. He said to me, I don't ever want it to be easy, Danny. I don't ever want my training regimes to be easy. And I'm like, fair play, lad. There won't be. That's because of how much he fucking wants it. Do you know what I mean? And I give him enough respect for that because he does really want it. He can't see me for two weeks now because next Saturday I'm going on holiday on Monday. And next Saturday I'm going to have better shit to sort out before I go on holiday. Right? And then he can't see me the week after because I'm on holiday. And obviously he's gutted. Do you know what I mean? Because he likes the hardness, man. He loves coming to see me because he loves where I take him. Because he goes to new levels every time he does shit he didn't even think he could fucking do. Like, this is a long workout for a young kid. I mean, James is 16 years of age. He's been training for fucking less than five months, everyone. And you're going to see just how much we did at the, by the end. Fair play, man. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. On to part two. I'll see you in a bit.